Okay, to start off, we're gonna head to this site called listentomyradio.com and then click on the sign up for free account button. Enter whatever name here, your password, then your email. I'm using a temporary junk email for this, so please don't try and copy me. Use a proper email. Alright, registration is complete. Now we just wait for the confirmation email to arrive. Great. Now just click on the confirmation link and we are successfully registered. Now let's go back to the login and enter our details. It should come up with an audio account. Let's click that and start entering our Steam information. Again, don't copy me here as your account will get suspended pretty quickly, so make sure you type something intelligible. For channel URL, make it the same as channel title. Leave the server details as it is, and set up stream password. You can always change the server location later in main control panel. Give it a minute to install the server. Alright, this is our control panel. Now, right off the bat, we're going to be entering Steam details as they are required for the server to be online, so let's do that real quick. Leave the radio subdomain same as the channel URL and click confirm. Channel details are saved successfully, so let's go back to the home screen and see if the stream is online. The stream is online, which means everything went well up to this point. Okay, next step is to install a couple of apps for broadcasting. We'll be using Winamp as our interface and Shoutcast DSP plugin to connect to our server. Once you've downloaded those, start with the Winamp installation. Just a standard install. Choose the modern skin. Leave those two options checked if you choose to play via our CD player. I don't have that one installed, so I won't need it. Alright, close the Winamp for now, and let's proceed to install the Shoutcast plugin. Leave the directory same as your Winamp app. Let's make some space here. The DSP window will allow open on startup, but in case it won't show up, you can always go to Option, Preferences, Plugins, and double click the Shoutcast DSP. Make sure to never close this DSP window during the broadcast. Now we make an output profile here. For server address, we'll be using this IP here, and for the port, same as the stream port below the IP. For the password, use stream password. Leave the connection to automatic mode and go to the next tab, name whatever. Let's go back to the login and try to establish a connection.
All right, the connection is successful and we have DSP sending a dummy data. Perfect. Another step I forgot from the encoder tab. Choose a higher quality setting. You can go 128 kilobytes per second or 256 kilobytes per second. Personally, I stick to 256. Okay, let's reestablish the connection and get some boner jams going. All you have to do now is just drag and drop files or even music folders into the playlist editor to make a playlist. Now let's go back to our game window. Make sure you have the radio object inside the room. You can find it from this TV looking icon. Save your room. Okay, let's copy the stream link. To do that, click on the admin panel link. This pretty much shows our stream information, what song is playing, status, etc. But we only need the link, so just copy the whole thing up to the port number. Save the link somewhere so you don't have to keep coming back to this page. Back inside the game, open the radio. We're going to paste it to the stream URL and make sure that there is no forward slash at the end of it. If there is, just delete it. Open your volume mixer and mute the wind map window so you're not hearing audio from two sources. We only want audio from game window. Now just hit play and win amp and start the stream in game. Keep in mind there is a 10-ish second delay for the song to reach from your PC to the server. But that won't be an issue once you have a playlist set up as you will only get the delay for the first song. It's the infamous mob, MOB. <laughs> All right, that's pretty much it. Next time you open the Winamp, the DSP will also automatically open. You can also choose the auto connect and it will connect right away. Just make sure before connecting your stream is online on control panel and always remember to keep the DSP window open during broadcasting. Ciao.